This is a nice little whiskey, but I've treated it a bit unfairly. I've made a few cocktails with the Elijah Craig small batch, but I haven't yet reviewed it. Let's fix that today. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and this is the Elijah Craig Small Batch Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So let me get into the glass and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Now, this whiskey doesn't have an age statement. It used to have an age statement, but it doesn't have it now. So we don't know how old this bourbon is. It does say it's a straight bourbon whiskey, so we know it's gonna be at least four years old, might be around eight years old. We've no way of being sure about it, but it is at least gonna be four years old. It is coming from the Heaven Hill Distillery, and it does have a nice, interesting corn forward mash bill. The mash bill is 78% corn, 12% malted barley, and 10% rye, so it's gonna be very sweet. It's definitely gonna be leaning into that corn sweetness, more so maybe than some other bourbons you'll see on the market. It is also coming in at 47% alcohol by volume or 94 proof. So it is gonna have a little bit more weight, a little bit more presence, a little bit more richness than some of the other bourbons you're gonna see on the market. I mean, you will see a lot of bourbons coming in at 45% alcohol or even 40% alcohol. So having that little touch above 45% is welcome, it is nice. It's not gonna be up at your bottled and bonds, your 100 proof, your uh, cask strength whiskies, but it's maybe gonna deliver just a bit more richness from that extra 2% alcohol. So while the whiskey might be quite sweet and might be quite corn forward, I am expecting it to have a nice bit of presence in the glass, so let's not waste any more time. Let's go in for the nose. Cheers. Okay, you're obviously gonna get the classic bourbon notes. You're gonna get oak, caramel, vanilla, cinnamon. You're gonna get those classic bourbon notes. And that's because this is gonna be one of those classic bourbons. The Elijah Craig bourbon has been on the market for a long time and they know what they're doing with their mash bill. They know what they're doing with their aging. But if you sit with it a bit, if you go back to it a couple of times, you can get a little bit of like orange citrus, like the orange peel. There's a nice bit of that kind of um, acidic, kind of citrusy note coming through and a little bit of like um, the flesh of an apple, like a nice bit of fruitiness undertones underneath all that classic bourbon, you know, your vanilla, your caramel, underneath all that, there is a nice bit of fruitiness coming through. Mm, and as I kind of go back to it, as I go back again, there's almost like a, like a honey note coming through, like, a, like fresh honey, not like the store-bought kind of cheap, almost artificially flavored honey. This is more almost like a natural honey, like a honeycomb flavor coming through. Mm, and that's kind of all I'm getting on the nose. I mean, it's hitting all those classic notes, it's hitting them all quite well, but there is just that little bit of fruitiness coming through, that little bit of like honey note coming through. So let's go in for the palate and see what delivers. Cheers. That is a sweet whiskey. Immediately when it hits your palate, you get honey you get caramel, you get vanilla, you get a lot of sweet notes, and then following right behind that, you get a bit of oak spice, you get a bit of peppery spice, you get cinnamon, nutmeg, clove oil coming through, very much leaning into those baking spice, like on the nose, there was a touch of cinnamon, on the palate, there's much more of that kind of spicy note, backing up all those sweet notes that you get immediately. Those spicy and sweet notes are quite apparent on my first sip. I didn't quite really notice any of the fruity notes, the orange, the apple that I was getting on the nose in the palate on my first sip. So let's go in again and see if I can find any of those. Cheers. Okay, second go around, there's a touch of apple, but it's actually almost more like, um, like in an apple pie. You get a little bit of the um, apple note, but it's complemented by that cinnamon, by that clove. It's very much overshadowed, I think by those spicy, by those baking spices notes. There's also a little bit of like a, like a biscuity note, like the, almost like the crust of a good apple pie, where you get that coming through, you get the apple, you get the bit of the cinnamon, you get the bit of the clove, maybe the ginger as well coming through, and those biscuity notes. And as it sits, I'm getting maybe a little bit of nuttiness, but that's going into the finish, so I'll talk about that in a minute. The palate is nice, it's simple enough, it's straightforward enough, it's hitting a lot of the good notes, but it's hitting them quite well. So let's go in for the finish and see how those flavors develop and fade off. Cheers. Okay, on the finish, the sweetness, that fades off pretty quickly. The vanilla goes away. 
the caramel, that kind of fades off. The grain sweetness, that kind of corn sweetness, that's hanging on a bit more, as well as some oak from the palate. I wasn't really getting a lot of oak, was getting in the nose, it's coming back in the finish. As those sweeter notes fade away, as those spicier, the baking spices notes fade away, the oak makes a comeback. You can really taste the influence of the oak barrels. It's not a particularly long finish, like I do still have the oak taste in my mouth that's lasting longer than the sweetness, but it's just kind of simple, it's kind of straightforward. It's what you'd expect from a good middle of the road bourbon. It's just giving you a nice, dependable, solid finish, but nothing like exciting, nothing different, nothing kind of uh, unexpected. And that might be what you want. I mean, Elijah Craig, it's been on the market for a long time. They know what they're doing with this bourbon. They know where it is. It's not high priced. It's not very high proof, but it's also not very low proof. It is quite sweet. It's good in cocktails. I've made a few cocktails with this bourbon. So it is a very nice, rich, full flavor bourbon and delivers those bourbon notes that you want. It's not gonna deliver something unexpected. It's not gonna deliver something different. If you want to get into bourbon, this would be a good bottle to go for. You can then try out the barrel proofs or the single barrels they've got. Some of the more kind of different whiskies in the range, but this is, I think, a very solid bourbon. What do you think? Have you ever tried the Elijah Craig Small Batch? And if you have, what do you think of it? Do you think it's a good beginner bourbon or do you think it actually does have a place once you get into collecting some of those high-end, top-level bourbons? Let me know down in the comments below. I put out whiskey reviews every Wednesday and I put out cocktail recipes every Friday. So if you wanna see more, make sure you scroll down, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Slaunching.